Greetings, men. This is Pastor Devin Miller, and I thought I would share with you a word as it relates to power. You know, when we look at power and we define power, power is that which gives something the ability to do. Uh, how do we make the mind work? We feed it uh, information. We feed it through nourishment. Uh, rest so that it can do that which it's called to do, which is to think. How do we uh, produce power from our bodies? We feed it, we give it proper rest so that it can function in the manner in which it's supposed to function. Well, the same thing happens in spirituality and happens in our Christian walk. In order for us to produce what has been placed in us, through our belief in Jesus Christ, we must feed the power that is given to us. Well, now you may say, wait a minute, Pastor, what, what power do we receive? Well, when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior, we receive two things. We receive him, which is the word, and we also receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the power source that allowed Christ to do what he did. If you understand the life of Christ, Christ was a man, fully man, but he was also fully God. How was he fully God? Because he was the word made flesh. And in order for the word to be activated, he had to operate within the spirit of God in order to do that which he was called to do. And even if we take the story all the way to its end, when Christ said on the cross that it is finished and into thine hands, I commend my spirit. That was the power source that allowed him to do and to fulfill the purpose that he was destined to fulfill. Well, men, we have that same ability as Christian men, Christ-like men. We have the same ability to do even greater works than Christ did. Why? Because the Holy Spirit that is within us when we receive Christ as our Savior gives us the power to do that which we have called we are called to do which we find in Matthew chapter 28 that says the great commission that we are to go ye therefore in all the land preaching and teaching. Now you may say, well, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a teacher. What am I? You are a witness. And let me say this about power. In the natural, power cannot, cannot operate until it is, uh, until the product which needs the power to operate is tapped into the power source. You know, as I am sitting here today in my office, there's a light that is shining on me so that you can see me clearly. But that light is plugged into a light and into a wall socket. That wall socket is the power source. That light would not be on unless I turned it on. I could easily just plug it in and it would sit there with the potential to be light. But until I first plug it in and second turn the light on, it's only potential. It's not activated until I flick the switch. That is the same thing that happens with us men. God has given us when we accept Christ, his son, as our savior, he gives us two gifts. He gives us the word and he gives us the Holy Spirit. Yes. You have the Holy Spirit right now. The question is, is it activated? Is it in function in your life? Well, the only way it can function is if you ask the source, who is God, to activate it within you. You might look at me and say, well, wait a minute, give me some scripture to back that up. Well, I certainly will. Look at uh, Acts chapter one, verse eight. It says, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. The backstory to this is the, the, that Christ is talking to the disciples and he's letting them know that 
you will be able to do even greater works than what you saw me do when you received the source that allowed me to do what I did. And that source was the Holy Spirit. And so he's saying to them, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. But it is not just power to just do whatever. It is, it is targeted. And men of God, the power that we have is also targeted. So as in the scripture says, and you shall be my witnesses in uh, Ju Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. What does that mean for us? It means that when we allow God to activate the power of the Holy Spirit within us, we too become witnesses. It's, it's, it's not a big job. It's just to be a witness. It's to be a, pro a proclaimer of the goodness of God through Jesus Christ. Where do you do it? Well, there it said in Jerusalem, Judea, uh, and Samaria and the end of the earth. Well, in our time, that means to do it in the city, in the suburb, in foreign lands, and throughout the earth. It starts right where you are. You don't have to be a great evangelist. You don't have to be a pastor. You just have to tell of the goodness of God through Jesus Christ. You have to tell how Jesus came to save us while we were yet sinners. He died for us. You have to tell the story of how God saw you and, and brought Christ to you and you accepted Christ, the word of God, and your life was changed. That is the story that people are looking for. That is the story that people need to hear. But men, I'm telling you, that that power that is within you is lying dormant right now. That power within you needs to be activated. That power with you needs to be fed. So let's start with the feeding first. How do you feed the power of the Holy Spirit? Through the word of God. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So you start, number one, by studying the word of God. That feeds the power of the Holy Spirit. The second thing you do is you pray to God the Father. That taps you into the power source. You also, number three, meditate not only on the word, but meditate in your time uh, with God so that God can speak to you and give you instruction on how to be a, an effective witness. But then, men of God, you have to do the fourth thing, and that is ask. Ask God to activate the power that is within you. Ask God to use you in such a way that you will be a witness for him. Ask God to direct the power, channel the power within you to where he wants you to go. The Bible says, trust in the Lord and ask God with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Gentlemen, in order for our paths to be directed by God, we have to lean not to our own understanding, but lean unto God. And the only way we lean unto God is by studying his word, by prayer, and by meditation. And also, by fellowship. Men, when you watch this, when you take this in, when you share this with other men, you are fellowshipping across the world with men of like mind, of men of same love, of men of one purpose. Just like the men, the disciples that were in the upper room, this is our upper room experience where we can share God together and activate the power that is within us because we tap in together into the power source. Man, I don't want your light to be dim. I don't want your light to be dormant. I don't want that power just to sit in you 
because there is greatness in you. And I want you men to operate in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the purpose that God has destined for you. Men of God, I challenge you to activate the power. Turn on the switch and watch God illuminate you in your home, on your jobs, in your community, and in this world. I see greatness in you, and I know it's about to be activated. This is Pastor Devin Miller, pastor, founder, teacher of Clear Faith Christian Ministries, the virtual church, here to let you know that we are trying to build legacy-minded men, one man at a time. Until next time, God bless. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at LegacyMindedMen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.